In this problem, idle gas at a pressure P0 at 10 k power 5 Pascal and volume V0. One meter cube is enclosed by a piston in a cylinder. We start to move the piston outwards at a constant velocity V is equal to 1 cm per second. 1 cm per second. The cross sectional area of piston is A 0.1 meter square while the piston is moving while the piston is moving, heat is delivered by this heating filament. How should the heating power change as a function of time if temperature of gas remains constant? Walls and piston are thermally insulated. So heat is being delivered to this gas by this filament. Since temperature is constant, if temperature is constant, the process is isothermal. And for this isothermal process, we can write PV is equal to constant. Pressure and volume. This multiplication is constant for isothermal process. Initially pressures are P0 and V0. So P0, V0. This would be equal to, I am taking pressure at some T is equal to T. This is P and volume as V. So this is for T is equal to 0 and this is for T is equal to T. Volume we can calculate from the information that the piston is moving with constant velocity and area is also given. So at T is equal to T volume of the gas will be. Suppose the piston reaches somewhere here and in T time interval it will move a distance velocity multiplied by time velocity multiplied by this time interval is t so volume extra volume will be to so this extra volume is area multiplied by this distance so this will be initial volume plus the extra volume due to movement of this piston a into v into t so this is the volume at t is equal to t from this we can calculate pressure at t is equal to t. Now for calculation of power, how power is being delivered, we should use the equation first law of thermodynamics. From first law of thermodynamics, Q is equal to delta U plus W and delta U is 0 for isothermal process. So Q is equal to W. I am applying this equation for a very small time interval for a very small time interval. I am taking this time interval from t is equal to t to t is equal to t plus dt. And for this time interval, I can write dq is equal to dw. And this dq can be written as power of this heating element p multiplied by time interval dt. So in a very small time interval, power can be assumed to be constant and that is multiplied by time interval it is heat given by this filament and work done by the gas in this interval can be written as p dv p is pressure at t is equal to t and dv is the change in volume is very small change in volume in this particular time interval dt so further we can write this is capital P used for power P dt. This pressure we can calculate from the equation above. So this pressure is known to us from this equation. dv we can write the small change in volume and this small change in volume is area of piston multiplied by distance moved by the piston. This dt will cancelled and this power P is equal to 
now we have to put the value of this pressure and this pressure will be p0 v0 divided by this v and this v will be v0 plus ev into t so this is p0 v0 divided by this v and this v is v0 plus and this v is v0 plus evt now this term is here a into v so this is the power as a function of time we can put the values 10 key power 5 v0 is 1 area is 0 0.1 meter square and this velocity is 1 centimeter per second that is 10 key power minus 2 v0 1 area 0 0.1 and velocity is 10 key power minus 2 so final answer for this problem will be 100 divided by 1 plus 10 key power minus 3 into t so this is the final answer to this